What's up, gang? What's up, family? Welcome back to another video, man. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Brian Clocker back in, man. I told y'all I was coming back with another story time. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all the first time I got bullied. You know what I'm saying? And my uncle came to the rescue. And um, if you watched that video, appreciate you. And if you didn't watch that video, man, you know, I'm gonna have it right here. Click that, go watch it. You know what I'm saying? like comment all that but yeah welcome back to my gang members man my family and if you new to this channel and you want to be part of it just hit the little subscribe button right there man i'm gonna have it right there click it but yeah i'm back with y'all today and i'm gonna tell y'all the last time i ever got played with like that you know what i'm saying i ever got played with like that this one finna be a good one for y'all but today i got some um chinese food you know small left combination rice i got a, a egg roll and you know got me some to drink so before i get into this video y'all already know what i want man you already know what i want hit that subscribe button like comment and share and hit the notification bell i, I don't never say that in my own other video but hit my hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i drop a video so let's get to the story so yeah this my last time, but this one right here, boy, this the last time I ever let somebody even try to play with me like that. But, all right, so, bet. Damn, this one look good. I ain't gonna count. Let me get this thumbnail out the way. All right, so, boom. I'm at school one day. I'm at school one day. And it used to always be this boy that used to walk up on me and dap me up and like say what up to me. And I ain't never knew his name. I just used to always speak to my boy. Look at that air, bro, boy. This shit so good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got no sauce. This whole boy. Damn. All right, so I always see the barbie to speak or whatever. And one day we were going to the same PE class. So we were playing basketball and he had put me on his team. And y'all already know how that PE basketball goes. You would think it's the motherfucking NBA Finals game seven. So we had already played like three games. We had played on. Um... Damn, I can't think of the name of that game. 50. Yeah, we were playing 50. And then. We end up playing like three on three or whatever. Best out of four. And you know, the last game, the game gets serious. Cause I think we were like tied up or whatever. And I end up, I was tired by this game. So I can't make a layup. I can't make a shot. I'm just tired. Like I'm out of breath. Like I need to take take a break, get some water. So I end up, I guess I end up selling us the game or whatever. And we end up losing. And he was just like, kept trying to trip me up. He was getting mad. He was like, damn, you caused us to lose the game. You saw, you saw. First, like, he was laughing and playing. And then he just kept trying to trip me up for some reason. I don't know why. So at first, I'm playing. I'm just going along with it. And then, like, some girls and, like, some niggas, they was, like, known or whatever, just kept laughing at them. So every time they kept laughing at them, every time they kept laughing at them, he just started doing it aggressive and aggressive so i had started to realize like this nigga trying to show out like he getting more serious now so this one time he tripped me up and i fell and everybody was just in the gym just busting out laughing and he and and i at the moment i ain't really i was confused like i ain't want to take it too serious so i got up laughing but i got serious because the nigga just started talking crazy out the side of his neck he just like he was like yeah i did it he ain't none he ain't none just basically try to say I'm a hoe or whatever. Like, I ain't going to do nothing to him. So he did it again. When he did it again, this one I got serious and I got up in his face. And I like, stop tripping me up for Like, I beat your ass or whatever. He was like, man, he ain't going to do nothing. He pushed me. He pushed me. And I just kept getting up in his face, screaming or whatever. Like, stop pushing me or whatever. And we just caused a big ass scene. And he was just telling me, like, I ain't going to do nothing. I'm a hoe or whatever. 
And I ain't gonna lie, I was a little scared of him, but I ain't wanna like. You know, there was some girls over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna let him hold me in front of some girls. Like, even he beat my ass. Like, I'm not gonna let him hold me in front of some girls. Cause he was taller and bigger than me. So I was like, all right, but I ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He hold me in front of everybody. Cause a big ass scene and the PE teacher end up coming to break the fight up. It wasn't even a fight. It was just like an argument. And everybody was just like took his side. Cause I guess he was already a little known. Like I was known, but not known like that. Like they just knew me cause I was just friendly or whatever. But I, right. so they had took us to the um, principal office and I'm thinking they gonna call our parents, but they ain't, they ain't call our parents. They had just, like, put us in the for the rest of the day. But my mama did end up getting called, but I didn't know. My teacher called my mama, like, when I wasn't around her. So I guess, so when I got home, I'm about to tell my mama, like, what happened to me today. You know, I used to always come home and talk to my mama about what was going on in school. And my mama got the phone call before I even could tell her. So when I came in the house, she already knew what I was going to talk to her about. So I'm telling my mom the story or whatever. And she got mad. Like, she got mad because she asked me, like, did I swing on her? Or, like, you know, my mama, back then, my mama is an angel, but she could turn into a demon. And back then, my mama ain't play about, like, nobody playing with her kids. Like, playing them, playing, ooh, I just spit it. Playing with them like they a whore or whatever. Like my mama, she used to always say, like, I ain't raised no pussy. I ain't raised no hoe. You know what I'm saying? The bigger they is, the harder they fall. All oh, that little shit. So my mama, she just ain't play. So all of a sudden, my mama just got mad. And she just started going in on my head, like, punching me in my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the hell you let that boy do you like that? I forgot what I was just said, but she was just going in on my head. And then my stepdad at the time, he got mad too because, like, my stepdad, he was like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to, he, he rest in peace to him. He gone now. Nah. But, he was like that. You know, I ain't going to put his business out there. Uh, but at the time, he was my stepdaddy. And he got off in my ass, too. Like, so you going to let that boy do you like that? You ain't going to fight back? I ain't raised no hoe. I ain't raised no pussy. So they both just got up in my ass. And I ain't no getting my ass whooped, man. I got a whole ass whooping. Man, I was so mad. I was so hurt. Like, what the fuck? I got a whole ass whooping because I ain't fight the nigga back. So, after I got my ass, well, I laid in my bed. And I'm just crying like, ooh, I'm mad as fuck. I damn don't want to run away. Cause I just got my ass whooped. And then I'm mad because I got my ass whooped because I'm a nigga. And I ain't defend myself. So, you know, my mama ain't apologize. You know how black mamas is. They wear apologizing is cook a dinner for you. I was debating in my head like, do I want to take it? Or do I just want to stay mad and be like, I ain't hungry. But I know if I say that, my mama going to be like, well, don't come back in the kitchen once she lay down. So, I, you know. I fell into it. I was like, yeah, let me go and get my food. Ate my food. I calmed down for a minute. Then when I back, went back in my room, it came back to my mad foot. And I'm like, ooh. So now in my head, I'm plying like, boy, when I get to school tomorrow, soon as I see him, soon as I lay eyes on him, it's on sight. But I'm finna walk him on his ass and beat the fuck out of him. Cause boy, I just got a whole ass whooping because of you. Like, what the fuck? Like, only person I, only people I take an ad with for is my brother, sister, and I don't, I don't even like doing that. Like I ain't taking no ad with for nobody, even ain't family, bro. Like real shit. So now I got my ad with cause of a nigga. I barely don't know my mind. Like only thing I can see is red. Like my mind is out of that. Like, but I'm, I'm gonna go to school tomorrow. I'm gonna beat his ass. I don't know what time, it, what time it gonna happen. But I just know I'm just gonna beat his ass. So next day come up. Get ready to go to school. And I go to the cafeteria. And he in the breakfast line. Oh, I'm ready. So I went and um put my book bag on the table where I normally see that. And I walked up towards him like I'm finna skip the line. And he was looking at me crazy. And I just walked up. Bam! Punched his ass. And before he even had a chance to swing back, I'm throwing like two of them holes. Bing, 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 bing. Just slammed his ass on the ground real quick. Bing, 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 bing. So now everybody jumping up like, oh, oh, they fight, they fight. Everybody going crazy, bro. It's early in the morning. Bro, it's like 7 o'clock. 
The bill ain't ring for us to go to class yet, bro. I'm like, fresh out the way, go. Like, I just got to school. Soon I seen it. I ain't even get my breakfast plate. Like, now that I think about it, I'm like, damn, I should have went and got my food first. You know, fill, fill me up. Get some energy in my body. Then go beat his ass, but... I'm still just mad out the ad with because when I got to school, I could still feel that shit. Like, my mama, my mama, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though my, my mama only light-skinned child, but my mama ain't treat me like no light-skinned. Like, when I got my ad whooped, I just got my ad whooped. She ain't beat me, but she only whooped me for, like, you know what I'm saying? When like Whenever I did wrong, I don't want to put that out there. Like, my mama just beat my ass just because, like, no. It always the reason why I got my ad whooped. But, yeah, so I could still feel that shit on my ass, like, Ooh, I'm so a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm light skinned. I got a little belt, belt whips and shit on my arm. I'm like, ooh. But I wasn't that sober. I could still feel that shit a little bit. But it wasn't noticeable. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. They just gave me everything I needed. Like, when I see the little belt mark or whatever on my arm, like, even though my shirt was covering it up, I seen it. I was like, yeah, but I'm finna beat his ass. Walked up to him, beat his ass. Then they um, took it to the um, principal office. And um, they called my mama. This time, the principal called my mama. And my mama came up there and got me. She just told me, I'm going to do a one-day suspension. Then when I come back, I'm going to be in detention. And my mama was so cool with it, too. Like, my mama ain't do nothing. Like, she already understood why I did what I did. Like, I think my mama was low-key happy inside that I went back and defended myself. Even though it was early in the morning, like, my mama played it like she was mad. She probably would because... She just dropped me off at school and about to go home. And then she had to turn right back around, just wasting her gas. But at the same time, she couldn't be mad because she like, well, yeah, like, I bet he know not not to play with you like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I got him to call my mama, she was just quiet. And we got to the house, she was like, yeah, you know, go on, go in your room, do your little schoolwork, whatever. Because like before I left, she went and talked to my teacher, got out my paperwork and schoolwork that I put that I was gonna do that day. So I ended up just doing it at home. My mama had to be my little teacher or whatever. But this this story is short, you know what I'm saying? And that was just the last time I ever got boiled like that. Like I had plenty more fights after that. But not on no bullying touch like ain't nobody just like ever just bullying me. I don't know how to explain it. Like I don't know. That was just the last time somebody ever bullied me but I hope y'all enjoyed the story, man. And I thank y'all for watching this video. So make sure y'all leave a like, comment, and yeah, y'all know the rest. Subscribe. I'm going to have it right there again. Subscribe to the channel. Get me the 400. I'm trying to get the 400 by January, but if I don't, I'm trying to hit 400 by the by the end of January. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all be good out there. Stay safe. Stay out the way. And yeah. I had to throw this in there, even though the story wasn't that long. But I got a shout out to my mama. I ain't understanding back then why you whooped my ass, mom. But understanding now, because you taught me a valuable lesson. Like, don't let nobody push me over. Don't let nobody disrespect me. Because, and, and it was just a lot that came to that ass whoop. But, like, don't let nobody take my kindness for weak. Because I call everybody with the utmost respect. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. I just come to everybody with the most respect. But until I feel disrespect or feel cross or whatever, then I'm going to handle my business. But, yeah, ma, I'm thankful for the ass whooping. Because you ain't giving that ass whooping. I don't know what I would have been. I probably would have been a whole man. Excuse my language. I probably would have been a punk. But, yeah, you made sure I ain't become that because you ain't play like that. You And I understand, like, when I walk out that door, I'm a, repre I'm a representation of you. So, I thank you for that ad with my mama. And tell your friends, tell everybody to come to this channel and subscribe. And, yeah, I just want to tell y'all, too, like, my mama, my number one fan, like, she watches every video. And she supports me with the YouTube channel. So, she be motivating me to go harder. So, I love you, mom. And if you, and to my gang and to my family, tell y'all mama I love them. Or tell somebody that you look up to. They took care of you, tell them you love them. But yeah, I'm going to go on and it's out. Y'all be safe out there. Okay.